The man whose life you saved is really excited to see you again. No, I don't save lives. People are already dead when I get to them. I'm pretty sure you saved somebody's life. A man with the heart of a lion. Booth has a lion heart. I do not like cats. Uh, uh no. She's, uh, you know, in Guatemala. They're digging up Aztecs. Do you miss anything about the alternative life you experienced? while in a coma. Yeah. Brennan read him the book that she was writing. When Booth woke up, he thought that they had a whole different life together. He thought that they were married. He thought that for days. You were joined at that time. You still joined. Nothing either of you is saying makes sense. Were you pregnant? What? No, of course not. I mean, in your book. No. I... <laughs> Look at that. I'm reinstated on the day that you come home. That's the weirdest coinky dink ever. No, it's not even the weirdest coinky dink today. If you were reinstated, why are you dressed like a furniture mover? Well, sweets, you just um cleared me, so I actual manner. <laughs> not really. Well, she also says that in your weirdo alternate shared life experience thing that Brennan was pregnant. It's odd that neither of you mentioned that can't argue with what's in the cards. You never lost anything in that coma, Agent Booth. You gained something. My coma dream, mm -hmm. it was just bones and I, it was so real. You're in love with Dr. Brennan. What I'm wondering is, am I the same guy? Sweet, kick-ass, FBI. So Bones, how I feel? Yes, except be sure about your feelings because if you crack that shell and you change your mind, she'll die of loneliness before she'll ever trust anyone. Conclusion, your feelings are not real and will fade away like every other symptom of your coma. Now, I think you and I both know that Dr. Brennan's hyper-rationality is really just a cover for very vulnerable and sensitive core. Oh, great, so we're talking about Bones' brain, too, here. So, if you breach those defenses, and it turns out you don't really love her, I left your hard copies. All right, oh, before my coma, I shot a clown off an ice cream truck. Yeah. Well, I'm sure in a few weeks you hate clowns again. Be back to normal. Yeah, a few weeks. Well, what did you want to tell me? I love you. Right back at you, Booth. I love you too. Atta boy. By the way, my cards tell me this all works out eventually. Oh, really? What all works out eventually? What? What all works out eventually? Director Hacker wants to have sex with me. Oh, he said that? Wait, it's, and it's assistant director. Well, he said dinner, but the implication was clear. Okay, well, all you gotta do is just turn him down, you know, be very polite, and nobody gets hurt. Well, he's charming, good looking, why would I turn him down? Well, because he's my boss. Did Temperance mention that I asked her out? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think she may have said something like that. I just wanted to make sure there's nothing going on between the two of you, I wouldn't want to get in the middle. No, nothing whatsoever, sir. Strictly professional. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. And no one, no one can make her. That's what makes her... Bones. Okay. What goes on between us is ours. Come on, Booth. You must have told a lot of people the meatloaf story, right? You and I, this is our case. And I guess what goes on between us, that should just be ours. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's 
It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you say and bones, I would do anything for you. I would die for you, I would kill for you, but I am not getting in between two best friends. Okay. What are you May I ask why you didn't publish your book on Booth and Brennan? What, is there a connection between my book and Booth's marksmanship? I believe you didn't publish it because you're afraid of how Brennan and Booth would react to its conclusion. My book concludes that Brennan and Booth are in love with each other. We're in a coma. You got a glimpse of another world. Right, and how does that help me aim my gun? Temperance Brennan. You're in love with her. You're building a world around her. A family. We're not compatible. You won't fail in front of her. Trust me. Dr. Brennan. Hello. <laughs> Big and strong, but he's gonna need someone. Everyone needs someone. Don't be scared. Scared of what? I'm not scared of anything. It all goes by so fast. You don't want any regrets. I don't understand. Yes, you do. From family, I'd like to invite you. It's a sweet invitation. So, will you come? I don't know. You have the perfect chromium. Stand up. Okay. I left the table. Oh, okay. what was there stuff on my pants? Yeah, vascular tissue on oh. your cocky belt buckle. Oh, right. Slides right off. And we're done. No. Huh? You have to remove your pants. All right, you know, I'm just going to start reciting some saints. You know, St. Joseph, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. John. We worked that other case before that. What did you think we were going to talk to about? The whole, uh, love thing? The love thing? Oh, his conclusion that we're in love? I don't care about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My interpretation of your working relationship is based on the unfolding interpersonal dynamics of that first case. It wasn't our first case. It's not your first, it's not, okay. Well. Techniques at American University. Methods which preserve the bone perfectly require patience. Bones was not what I expected. Works quickly, but the bone itself is cooked, transforming the marrow. The first step is to use conventional surgical implements, being very careful that the skin. But you didn't know that yet. Yeah. Are you a student here? Special Agent Seeley Booth from the FBI. I'm Dr. Temperance Brennan of the Jeffersonian Institution. Do you believe in fate? Absolutely not. Ludicrous. I still don't. And I still do. Seeing anyone? Wow, right to the point there. Huh, Bones? Uh, casually, but she doesn't really like my hours. You? Well, a uh, physicist has been asking me out, so I was thinking of saying yes. I'd ask you out if I could. Why can't you? Well, FBI rules again. No fraternizing with other agents or consultants. That's... <sighs> hey, yeah. If we don't work together anymore, we can have sex. I'll we'll call a cab. Hold on, hold on, hold on, listen. Hold that! Going somewhere. Why did you feel like this is going somewhere? I just, I feel like I'm gonna kiss you. You kiss. We're not spending the night together. Of course we aren't, why? Tequila. Hey, oh, oh, hold the cap, hold the cap. Hey, so you're afraid that when I look at you in the morning, I'll have regrets? That would never happen. <laughs> Government. No, because you got me drunk to fire me and then have sex with me. Whoa, no. I got myself drunk so I could fire you, and you decided not to have sex with me, which I accepted gracefully. So, are you regretting that decision? No, I'm not. It was a very good decision. I stand by it. What's going on, Bones? Do not call me Bones. This car's been cleaned, sanded, and repainted. The well, you are a stupid man. I hate you. Oh, you hate me. What are you, 10 years old? I'm not your dad. I will never work with you again. What does that mean? Well, he still thinks that we slept together. What? 
we're not in love with each other. It took us a year after he kissed to be in the same room together, right? Oh, uh, absolutely. Right. No, right. No more kissing or anything. If you're not in love, then how come you haven't been in any serious relationship since you first met, huh? I don't really do that. You know, a job, son. One of you has to have the courage to break this stalemate. You. It's got to be you because you're the gambler. You mean us? No, the FBI won't let us work together. Don't do that. Couple. That is no reason. No. No. Why? Why? You, you thought you were protecting me, but you're the one who needs protecting. Protecting from what? From me. It's the guy who says, I knew. I knew. Right from the beginning. Yeah. Please don't look so sad. All right. But I gotta move on. You know, I gotta find someone who's who's gonna love me in 30 years or 40 or 50. I know. Bathroom. And I'm uh, closer to the ice machine. No, I'm merely asking because of your feelings for Dr. Brennan. All right, I get it. All right, sweets, I respect that. But you know what? I've moved on. I already even have a date for next week. Oh, really? Who might that be? Thanks. Take care. Who might that be, Booth? Booth? Who might that be? Oh. <laughs> Why are you so far away? No, I just keep room for the Holy Spirit, that's all. Yow. Bone says hello. Hello. Tell her I'm really looking forward to our date. Did you two want to speak to each other, or is there something that you wanted to tell me, sir? I called because I got a heads up on your missing person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Angela informed me that coffee isn't a code for anything. Huh. <clears throat> I have a date, too. Good. Catherine Breyer. Everyone at the aquarium is a suspect. And when she's eliminated as a person of interest. Why did Andrew call? Oh. Dr. Catherine Breyer. Case is closed. She's very nice. The two of you seem compatible. Maybe. You know, we'll see. She's easily as pretty as I am. I mean, using me as a standard. Well, Bones, you are the standard. Andrew is not as handsome as you, using you as a standard. Booth has made a social contract with a marine biologist. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> it's amazing you go from injured testicles to the woman I'm dating. And you, you're supposed to say, oh, that's interesting in a very annoying way. It was a logical transition. But it is very interesting. Booth and I are friends. Catherine is an intelligent, attractive woman, and I'm intrigued by their developing relationship. Yeah, that's nice, I think. Yeah, I think it is nice. Thank you, Bones. <laughs> wow, you two seem to be handling dating very well. That one. So how's your girlfriend old enough? She's fine. She's not my girlfriend. Oh, so those little looks between you... Nothing. Right. I hope you're more believable on the stand. Have Angela run these numbers as quickly as she can. The judge is... Secretary of Defense? Do you want you to go back into the Army? As a Sergeant Major? Wait, I thought you were a Master Sergeant. They're just trying to tempt me with a promotion, but you know what, I'm not going. A decision like this without talking to you... Bones, look, you don't need my permission, okay? It's, it's cool. You say that, but you won't look at me. You're the one who taught me the value of making eye contact. So, please? I'm sorry. One year from today. Keep calling.